A former Deputy Senate President, Ike Kuremaju, his wife, Beatrice, have been found guilty of organ trafficking in the United Kingdom. And after a six-week trial at the Old Bailey, the duo, alongside a medical doctor, Obin Naobeta, were found guilty of facilitating the travel of a young man to Britain with the aim of exploiting him. Now, the court ruled that they criminally, criminally conspired to bring the 21-year-old Lagos Street trader to London to exploit him for his kidney. And the judge, Justice Jeremy Johnson, will pass a sentence at a later date. Let's begin with your perspective on this, Babajide. You know, seeing how things have turned out, well, how would you respond to the matter, how it has snowballed into this level? What's your take on this first? I, I just have pity for this family because um, it's like going into another country, not acutely aware of what uh, the loss is and how to go about things generally because... In our country, if this um, had been done in our country, I'm not sure it will um, get to this level. Even in some of the South Asian countries, people go abroad for um, the purpose of um, donating kidney, having people donate kidneys to them. Well, in this case, the young man got there with the intention of uh, uh, Jack Bain. and he lied against them. Mm. One, he lied about his age, and then said they wanted to uh, they, 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 they deceive him, this and that, this mm. and that, you know. So their society frowns at such a thing. At the end of the day, you know, it's just unfortunate what has happened because here was a family struggling to save the life um, of, the, of the couple, struggling to save the life of their daughter. And, and then this happened. I, I have people, friends who have gone to Pakistan, gone to Dubai to have uh, their uh, kidney uh, transplant. Uh, yes, to have kidney transplants. And this sort of thing never happened. It's just unfortunate because that guy, Clearly, he saw an opportunity to stay put and then lied against them that this was that. Uh, but do you think that is what could have happened? Exactly, that's what happened because even when the facts, when his passport, the, the, the opening page of his passport was presented, it showed that the age that he claimed in the UK forced. was not uh, his real age. And looking at him, you know that he clearly lied uh, about his age. You know, it has happened. And our country didn't really do anything to that we can see mm. to help somebody who rose to the position of deputy senior president in our country. This could happen to anyone. Um, I have just pity for them because it's just a case of the story turning. Um, so. Yes, that is the way I see it. I have no uh, nothingness but pity. People can misinterpret what I'm saying the way they lie, but this is the way. I see people will go to any length to save the life of their... Okay, their own. Yes, and the boy, from the fact that I have, agreed to the... to, the to donate. Yes, he agreed, and he's, he's not under age. It's not the age that he... he, he, he claimed, yes, because the Nigerian passport that he had showed that, that's not his age. Derry. What steps can be taken to prevent any similar incidents like this in terms of organ trafficking and exploitation in future? What are your thoughts? Mm -hmm. I think uh, you need uh, professionals uh, to, to, to explain that. Mm. Uh, well, as, as far as this case is concerned, it's just a very sad one. Uh, my pity is more for the young lady, the daughter, who needed that uh, organ. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm still struggling to understand, though, like uh, Vicky said, the, the rules here are not the rules over, over there. there. But I'm still struggling to understand why the court, or the jury in this case now, cannot see that there are two people whose major concern 
and whose major driving force uh, is to save the life of their uh, child. child. And in that process, and any option will look uh, attractive. And then the jury there obviously must have established the fact that they have their ways, mm -hmm. that this young man was told the intention of the trip had been issued, and he agreed. And uh, if, if these are facts, I still wonder why in the area of, even if it's just for the purpose of tampering uh, justice, uh, with mercy, mm. the Ekure Madus were not uh, given a, a better, uh, didn't get a better outcome mm. from this their case. It's 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 such a thing that we would it, it would teach a lot of people the need to do due diligence when it comes to issues like this. Right. One would have thought that a man of uh, Kweremadu's uh, ranking would know better. But now, this has shown us clearly that anybody can fall Victor. into the trap of someone who sets out to uh, commit, uh, 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 who sets out to cheat. Because that's what I see in the young man. You see, while... Those who know better may want to tell me that why am I not looking at the issue of somebody's organ is about to be taken. Organ, donating organ is nothing new. Mm. We've seen people do it. Yes. We've seen relatives, relatives do it for their loved one. Mm -hmm. We've seen strangers you coming see, up to say, the for the husband. We've seen strangers, uh, uh, this uh, rapper, the wife donated the kidney for mm -hmm. him, uh, uh, Idris. Yeah. I mean, so I am not, I don't think the issue of you agreeing to donate your organ for me is criminal in any way. Maybe they just didn't believe. If it is story. not, I think the issue has to do with documentations or getting the right uh, papers. Or is it that over there it is not outrightly allowed? You see, we are going to... No, maybe they just they refuse to believe the story of the Kuremadus. Because, and don't also, let's not think that in their place that the justice system is perfect. Oh. We've seen people stayed in, in prison for as long as 40 years. They only to come, only out to and, come and discover that... Uh, the of yes, justice. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. that so, he ought not to have gone to well, jail in the first place. It I'm, keeps happening, especially in the US and all of these countries. Right, so let's, leave, let's leave it at that. And thank you so much for this oh. discussion. It can be very, very pathetic, but we appreciate the analysis on this. Let's